joined by Ruby, who's uh, another member of our youth. Uh, Ruby, thank you for coming. That's right. Why are you here today? Well, uh, we're here to, uh, to express our deep, uh, our deepest sadness with the uh, with our situation in Egypt. Uh, what's happening to the original people in Egypt, the Coptic Orthodox uh, Christians, is absolutely disgusting in so many levels. The fact that we're not allowed to build churches the same way that Muslims can build their mosques. Um, the fact that people are being attacked um, simply by uh, worshipping at, at their own churches is absolutely disgusting. Now, we're not here to, to have a go at any religion or any, any special organisation. What we're asking for is a God. Uh, I don't think we're asking for too much to be treated in the same equal uh, manner, same as our Muslim brothers and sisters. Uh, we deserve equality and um, seeing that the Egyptian government has had so many incidences where they, they could have justified and rectified the situation by, um, by, by giving equality to the cops, we're still seeing uh, an inherent and systematic discrimination towards our cops. And this is the reason why we're here in Australia and Sydney. Um, we would have loved not to be here today. Uh, we, we don't enjoy being here. Um, showing the world the, um, the absolutely terrible record that the Egyptian government has towards the cops because we think it's embarrassing for Egypt and it breaks our heart that we are here today. But since the Egyptian government is not taking proactive steps to, um, to rectify the situation, um, this is why we're here. We will continue to be here. We will not stop until our, our message is heard. What do you think we as an Australian uh, government, how, how should, what our, should, what I'm trying to say is what should our response be? Absolutely. Well, I mean, uh, we, we're so lucky to be living here in Australia and we're, we're, we're an absolutely, um, we're, 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 I mean, Australia has given so much to us and, then we, and in turn we have given um, in part as much as we can back, back to this beautiful country that has given us so many uh, blessings, one of which is the freedom of speech that you and I are expressing now. Absolutely. And um, the same way that we contribute to the, the Australian fabric, um, the same way that we would love the Australian government to, to repay us that in, uh, in voicing our opinion in the international arena. Now we're not asking for the Australian government to, to send the army and the tanks and go attack the country. This is the last thing we want. But we, we, we accept that Australia has a very um, responsible and very important part, uh, part to play in the international diplomatic arena. Now the same way that you know, Kevin Rudd and the likes are calling for certain governments, for example if it's Japanese whaling and other international issues, the same way that we, um, as 80,000 cops here in Australia, we would like our government to take 80,000 voices, 80,000 votes and 80,000 individuals that contribute and I don't want to say pay taxes because it's not about the money, but we, as we contribute to the Australian um, way of life, we would like the Australian government to represent our views in the international arena. All it takes is a letter, it takes a uh, presentation, a speech to say we condemn what is happening to the Christians of Egypt that but might I also add that they are the original inhabitants in Egypt. Now to put it in the scheme of things, imagine here we are in Australia, just to choose a random country, imagine we get taken care of by Indonesia and then we are Australians are no longer able to express our views. Now it's absolutely absurd. Now, we're not saying Egypt is only for the Christians and Muslims should move out, we're not saying that. But at least give the original inhabitants of the country, the Coptic Christians of Egypt, the right to live, the right to worship and the right for employment. And what do you think our Australian government's response so far has been? Um, in a simple word, I have to say disgusting, absolutely disgusting. Now, we, we, we absolutely sympathise with what's happening in Queensland and our heart goes out to all the victims in the floods of Queensland. Um, but I would also like to say that before the disaster in Queensland became so grave, uh, the situation in Egypt happened first. Now, not to say that yeah, it is more important, um, but to, for, you know, uh, for the American president to go up and make a statement, for the European uh, governments to go out and make a statement in the international arena, and the Australian government, that the, again, the Egyptians have contributed, contributed so much to this country, and remain absolutely silent. It is, it is absolutely disgusting, and we would love we would love for the Australian government to come out with a very firm and a very direct um, um, statement to be made to the Egyptian government. We're, we've had enough of wish-washy diplomatic political statements where they have tried to, um, to win political uh, uh, votes and what have you. What we need is a firm, direct um, uh, report to be passed on to the Egyptian foreign minister, to be passed on to Mr. Hosni Mubarak himself, and of course to be passed on to the Egyptian uh, officials here in the city. Well said. Thank you, Ruby. Thank you very much.